G'day YouTube. Uh, what am I doing? It's all backwards. No, uh, remember in a previous video, if you saw it, I showed how to drill a nice neat hole in the end of a threaded rod for my 3D printer project. Now, I actually ended up trimming the end off this and I used most of that hollow sleeve for something else, I can't remember what. Um, this was a spare anyway, I made three of those rods, I wasn't happy with the first one. Now, I didn't own a bench vise or a bench drill or a drill press at the time. All I had was a good old cordless drill. So I rigged up a contraption with the threaded rod and some bits of pipe and bearings and stuff and I spun the rod in the drill and stuck used the pliers to put the drill bit down in the end of the rod and it worked kind of like a hand lathe. Well now I've got the deluxe model. I've got my bench vise rigged up here. It took me a little while to get this all lined up straight and I carefully squared up my drill bit and lined it all up real good and I can actually drill my way in to that threaded rod. Well, that's a 6mm threaded rod and a 3mm drill bit. Woo. I've got a little bit further to go, so let's have a look. And the other thing I've improved my setup with since then is instead of using your spray lubes, the old oil can there to, there's cutting fluid, I actually Forked out and bought some cutting fluid. This stuff actually does work a little bit better. Not a great deal, you can still use those guys. Um, and no, I didn't go and fork out for the drill press. I got that and the old grinder over there for helping an old guy move out of his house and he didn't have room for these things anymore and maybe had better ones, so I got to keep them. Score. Anyway, let's have a quick look at that and we'll keep this video as short as we can. You guys can't see what's going on from all the way back there in my tripod, can you? Sorry, I've got too much junk, I can't get it any closer. Um, nice safety boots. Alright, let's have another go at this. By hand, sorry about the shaky camera. Got things a bit pear shaped now to square and the fit the chuck slipped on the thing and it all jammed up and went pear shaped and I panicked and instead of turning off the drill I turned off the camera which didn't really make much sense but anyway um, I've straightened it all up if you watch the video you'll notice that just before it jammed and went pear shaped the um, drill bit was wobbling that was a sign that I was slightly out of alignment not dead center so I've fixed that all up and I've gotten a bit further look at that we're down nearly to the bottom of the drill bit I don't have much further to go um, also, I had to wind the drill up, make sure you've given yourself enough room to fully extend it down as far as what you want to go. Um, now, when we get to the bottom of the drill bit here, we've got to make sure that the, um, the shavings can get out, because I'm running out of fluting there, so I'll be working it up and down a bit. We'll have a quick look at that, and then that'll be the end of the video, because we'll keep this one short. not going to try and talk over the drill, you won't be able to hear me. See how I was pumping that up and down there then at the end and letting the shavings out very regularly. And every time it comes up, that's a great opportunity to add more cutting fluid, but I'm busy holding the camera with my other hand. So that's the end of the video, and thanks for watching. Hope you find this trick useful.